Hello everyone, my name is Seng Yeon Lee, CEO of Biseng Inc. Today, I would like to discuss about three-dimensional integrated circuit for logic, opportunities, challenges, and suggestions. According to 2013 ITRS, scaling of logic transistor was expected to go down to 5 nanometer until 2028. However, in 2015, ITRS modified the technology node map and predict logic transistor scaling limitation at 10 nanometer. ITRS said it will no longer be economically desirable for companies to continue traditional semiconductor miniaturization in microprocessors. In case of memory devices, DRAM and NAND faced scaling limitation at 18 nanometer and 14 nanometer, respectively. However, we don't feel this scaling limitation at this moment because many products are still using older generation technologies and gradually moving to advanced technology nodes using tool upgrade. So, memory devices are still achieving 25% to 35% bit growth every year. However, such bit growth will end in a few years. Then what will happen? The semiconductor industry should find out and accept innovation. Otherwise, lifespan of CMOS integrated circuit will end soon. Okay, let's check cost reduction of logic process technology. For your information, logic process is being used for application processor for smartphone, CPU for your personal computer, GPU for gaming, DSP, FPGA, ASIC, system on a chip and etc. As shown in this graph, device scaling does not create cost advantage anymore. For further scaling of transistor, FDSOI, leather nanowire and vertical nanowire are being developed. However, regardless the technical feasibility of these technologies, it seems not easy to achieve low cost. Then, where is innovation in the semiconductor industry? I think the semiconductor industry has too much confidence in ladder scaling. Since the beginning of integrated circuits, engineers have always found solutions for device scaling limitation, even though there were so many warnings regarding scaling limitations. However, most people in the semiconductor industry admit the dead end of device scaling limitation in 2016. Even though device scaling could go down a little bit further, it is difficult to expect lower cost anymore. Unfortunately, semiconductor technology has focused on ladder scaling for a long time and has never been changed since its beginning. Recently, NAND makers transitioned from planar to vertical scaling. So, does NAND find out an ultimate solution? Answer is no. No cost advantage is observed from 3D NAND yet. Here is a comparison of dollar per gigabyte of SSD at Amazon.com. Planar NAND is still much cheaper than 3D NAND. We expect more memory cell stacking layer of 3D NAND would be cheaper. However, ironically, 48 layer is more expensive than 32 layer 3D NAND. Recently, Toshiba SanDisk introduced 64 layer 3D NAND. People expect that 64 layer could achieve price parity with the planar NAND. However, no cost per bit information is available in public. If we compare Samsung and Intel, Intel 32 layer 3D NAND is more expensive than Samsung 32 layer 3D NAND. For the time being, Samsung takes good profit at the high end SSD market with 3D NAND because 3D NAND has better functionality and reliability compared to planar NAND. However, such an advantage will be disappeared as other 3D NANDs come to market. In addition, 3D NAND need 3 to 5 times more FAB investment compared to planar NAND. It means problem with the semiconductor manufacturing get worse. So 3D NAND is still in maze and no one knows when 3D NAND will be cheaper than planar NAND. 
Okay, let me explain semiconductor domains first. At the transistor level, thin fat is being used because it is difficult to scale planar transistor considering leakage current. 3DIC implement transistors on top of other transistors regardless type of transistor. If we compare 3D transistor and 3DIC, they are totally independent. 3DIC could utilize planar or 3D transistor. 3DIC is also independent to the device feature size. If you ask the feature size of 3DIC, in fact, you just ask the feature size of transistor inside of 3DIC. So don't get confused. 3D package stacks multiple ICs to vertical direction. 3D package is also independent to the type of transistor and IC. Some people call 3D package 3D IC and 3D IC monolithic 3D IC. Here is cross-sectional view of a logic integrated circuit. There are at least 15 to 20 different transistors on top of silicon surface. Each of these transistors have different gate oxide, channel doping, and wave formation through multiple high temperature heat cycles. Optimization of single transistor is not difficult at all. However, optimization of 20 different transistors at the same heat cycle is extremely difficult. On top of transistor, there are multiple matter interconnect layers, which are very important to carry electric signals. Processing temperature for back end of the line is strictly limited to 400 degrees Celsius. When logic IC on top of logic IC is being considered, there are many challenges as shown in this picture. Among these, low summer budget and cost should be the most critical challenges. We should ask if 3D IC is cheaper than 2D IC and if it is technically feasible. Will 3D IC work? Technically, it is extremely difficult to implement logic IC on top of logic IC. In 1980s, many Japanese companies, research institutes, and universities had extensive work on 3D ICs. Unfortunately, they were all fair. Since then, many works on 3D IC have been done. However, all these works did or are doing similar mistakes. Technically, it is extremely difficult to optimize various transistors at low temperature. Multiple ion implantation, only link for damage cure, dopant activation, thermal diffusion, junction depth optimization, leakage current and breakdown voltage optimization are extremely difficult things to do. Economically, there is no strong reason to implement 3DIC considering yield and manufacturing cost. Simply, large size 2D IC might be better choice compared to 3D IC. If there is no disruptive idea to reduce cost, folding 2D IC to implement 3D IC does not provide cost reduction. We should think if there is a smart way to reduce manufacturing cost of 3D IC. Here is a summary of logic IC on top of logic IC. Low yield is unavoidable. It will be difficult to be cheaper than 2D IC. Low summer budget is the critical barrier. Manufacturing complexity increases. Considering all this, it seems difficult to defy scaling limitation with logic IC on top of logic IC. So, instead of chip level 3D IC integration, we should consider system level 3D IC integration in order to find out low cost and high performance solution. Here is system level integration of 3D IC, which combines logic IC with on chip and off chip memories. It implements memory cells on top of logic IC. Unlike logic IC, which needs 15 to 20 different transistors, the memory cell needs only one transistor type. So, it is technically feasible to optimize the single transistor at low temperature. Why system level integration of logic IC with memory is important? 
most high performance logic products strongly depends on on chip and or off chip memories on chip memory is the number one functional block in most high performance logic products more on chip memory provide better performance because on chip memory is about 10 times faster than off chip memory embedded memory could reduce power consumption up to 75% in the memory subsystem because no I.O. is required between CPU and off-chip memory. On-chip flash memory will be a critical portion of Internet of Things for large data storage, fast data access, low power consumption, security upgrades, and small form factor. The graph shows Intel's on-chip SRAM cell size. X-axis shows technology feature size, and 2Y-axis shows cell size with different units, one with micrometer square and the other one with F square, where F means technology feature size. SRAM used to be 100 F square at 100 nanometer feature size. It now becomes more than 300 F square at 40 nanometer feature size. It means SRAM becomes inefficient. At 22 nanometer node, 3D DRAM could install 100 times more memory cells compared to SRAM. This yield map shows feasibility of memory on top of a logic IC. It is important because wafer was successfully implemented at below 400 degrees Celsius at a conventional CMOS fab. 3D memory shows excellent characteristics and reliabilities. It is clear that lateral device scaling faces its limitation. So vertical scaling is the only option for the semiconductor industry. For a long time, semiconductor industry is searching for the solution for vertical scaling. Unfortunately, all failed. 3D NAND successfully started mass production. However, we don't see cost advantage from 3D NAND yet. In case of logic, it seems extremely difficult to implement logic IC on top of logic IC at low temperature. In addition, cost reduction will be another important challenge for 3D logic IC. So, instead of chip level 3D IC integration, we should consider system level, especially memory subsystem 3D IC integration in order to find out low cost and high performance solution. It will create a huge value for logic products. 10 times reduction of standby power consumption compared to SRAM. 75% reduction of active power consumption from memory subsystem. 10 times fast access time compared to off-chip memory. And 100 times more cell densities compared to SRAM. So system level 3D IC integration of logic IC with memory will defy the scaling limitation of logic products. That's it for today. Please feel free to share this video. Thank you very much.